Um, so this one kind of an indefinite growth with some squamous eddies in there. Um, so I was thinking like an, yeah. an um, inverted follicular keratosis. Yeah, exactly. IFK, which has very closely overlapping features with irritated seborrheic keratosis, and some people think they're basically on a spectrum of the same thing. The key is recognizing these swirl little squamous eddies. They're round little balls of keratinocytes. Um, unlike horned pseudocysts, like in seborrheic keratosis, which have like loose keratin in the middle, these don't have anything in the middle, right? They're just a ball of keratinocytes swirled around. And they're different also from uh, keratin pearls, which you see in the dermis in squamous cell carcinoma that's invasive, which is going to have little parakeratosis in the middle. So these are like the third little round keratin structure. I find people often get those confused. So yeah, irritated sebs can have them. If it bulges down like this, I usually would call it in inverted follicular keratosis. And occasionally I've seen cases of trichelomoma that have overlapping features with IFK, actually. So if it looks kind of warty on top and and has some areas with some clear cell change and palisading. You could also think of trichelomoma. The key is benign versus benign versus benign, not squamous cell carcinoma. Um, sometimes they can get pretty um, uh, irritated and inflamed and can be atypical. And I'll often see them shaved, like so broadly transected at the bottom. And in that case, if there's atypia, I'll usually say there's some atypia. I think it's reactive, but I can't see the bottom. And if it comes, if it grows back, please remove it. Um, because I do, I do feel like once you see this, it's pretty strong. Um, favoring of it being benign. I don't feel like I see these in real squamous cell carcinoma um, very often at all. So, but if I can't see the base and there's kind of inflamed uh, stuff in atypia, then I am more cautious about it. So inverted follicular keratosis, benign and beautiful.